Hyundai has let out teasers of the all-new Creta coming out. It looks bolder than before, a brand new styling. The interiors have changed and we're also getting new engine options. Here's what we know about the Creta so far and we just jump right into it. But before we do that, let me remind you that at Motorscribes, we take our viewers very seriously. So if you do have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And it is my promise that I answer every question that comes in on the Motorscribes channel. Thank you for tuning in. And now let's just jump in to what the Creta is all about. All right, so let's start with the design of the new Creta. Built on Hyundai's global design language of sensuous sportiness, the new Creta boasts a confident and bolder stance, capturing attention with its head-turning design. The new front grille, striking-looking headlights that have a bit of that etch motif, sharper character lines and a revised rear tailgate design as well as the revised rear light design are the highlights that we can see from the teaser shared with us. The cabin has been completely revised as well and Hyundai is claiming that it will set a new standard amongst mid-size SUVs in the country. Of course, this is something that we will further comment on when we review the Creta later this month. So just remember to come back to the Motorscribes channel for our detailed walk around and review. But getting back to the new Creta, we can see that the console has been completely revised with a larger and neater looking touchscreen interface. Hyundai has always packed the Creta with a ton of features and that is what we expect from the new one as well. Things that will carry over is obviously Hyundai's Blue Link and that stunning panoramic sunroof will also continue to be a major highlight. Safety takes a center stage with the new Creta with a suit of advanced active and passive features, promising a 360 degree protection for passengers. The cockpit of the new Hyundai Creta is a tech marvel designed to mesmerize with its advanced appeal. Six airbags will be standard and we do expect certain variants to come with ADAS as well. As far as what goes under the hood, the new sporty 1.5-litre turbo GDI petrol engine promises to be a sensational performance unit. This engine is a potent unit that will really transform how the Creta drives. Yes, a naturally aspirated petrol and a potent diesel will continue to be offered on the Creta, taking the total powertrain options up to three. Hyundai will also offer the Creta with four transmission options. On that note, customers can choose from seven variants. You've got the E, the EX, the S, the SO, the SX, the SX Tech, and the SXO. You can personalize your ride with a range of colors, including six monotone options and one dual tone option. Bookings for the Creta opened on the 2nd of Jan 2024, and the initial booking amount is 25,000, which can also be done online. As we get closer to the launch, we will have more details about the Creta. It has been the number one selling SUV in its segment, and a prime reason for that is the value for money that it offers. Hyundai will obviously play on this aspect and keep it competitively priced. Well, that's what we know about the new Creta so far. I will be getting my hands on it rather soon, so stay tuned for those videos which will be coming out on the Motorscribes channel later on this month. But for now, if you have any questions about the Creta and what we've spoken about in this video, like I said before, do leave me a comment. It is the Motorscribes promise to get back to every comment that comes in on our channel.